Bow. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and it's Friday, so that means we got to talk about some kind of music resource, tool, or strategy. Today, we got a resource slash tool, and that is Submit Hub. I know a lot of you guys already know about Submit Hub, but I wanted to do this video because a lot of people ask my opinion on the site, so I'm going to give you my opinion on how to best use it and why I think it is something very much so worth using. Number one being the fact that a lot of people are paying PR people just to submit to blogs when it's not going to be guaranteed in the first place. Submit Hub is at least free. You're submitting to Submit Hub. You don't have to pay any money. And also it saves you time because you're able to submit to multiple blogs without having to go look up their contact information, especially since the blogs on this website are typically actively looking through the submissions on Submit Hub. That's just one thing. But now I want to hop into the back in to really show you my mindset and how I feel about what they're doing, why I really like what they're doing, especially in terms of watching their progression over an extended period of time. All right, let's hop into it. So first, I'm going to put this thing into night mode because it's just better for my face. Now, if you look at Submit Hub, obviously, this is the home page. And one thing that I really like about it is just the progression, right? When I talk about the fact that they went from really just being only submissions to the fact that now they have these things like find a label. If you look at find a label, this outside of just that blog part, you're technically going to be submitting your music to these people who describe themselves as labels. So now, what type of labels? That's a whole nother story. So we can actually go into the back end. Let's just say blogs and labels. Cool, perfect. When you look at these blogs, there's also people who describe themselves as labels. What you want to do with these people and how you think of them. I typically haven't seen too many people I would call or consider labels as if I would consider QC the label or Atlanta Records or any of those kind of labels. But you do see some pretty valid people. And what's really interesting is you at the very least have these people who say, I'm working on a new international mixtape. If we like your music, we'll send you beats to record and be featured on the mixtape. Right? There's all of these interesting things that people are working on. And you can also choose the genres, which obviously makes it even easier. And then on top of that, you can look at things like certain services, whether that's distribution. Bam. You got it. Some of these people who consider themselves to be labels or just some sorts of groups. Releasing a single. Bam. All right. What do they want to help you? How can they help you? Worth knowing approves majority of submissions. Now nah, that's not worth knowing, at least for this video. Um, can help you release singles, right? So they know that they can help you release singles. Uh, sync deals. There's so many different types of things. Book gigs and tour. All right, who can help you book gigs and tour? We have this place in the United Kingdom. We have this place in the Ukraine. Obviously, these people are all around the world. But I think it's great that they have this now. And as they advance, I think this is going to be pretty powerful for a lot of people because it's not only a way to submit music. Now it's a way to really spark off some collaborations. So you're submitting music to collaborate versus just submitting music to maybe be placed on a blog. And I think that's way more powerful than just being submitted on the blogs, considering the fact that a lot of these blogs... Eh, you know how I feel about the blogs. I mean, if they're not one of the top tier that are actually creating content and curating that content, there's only but so much they're going to do for you. Don't rely your whole career on a blog. And there are some pretty credible blogs on here. For instance, Ear Milk is one. I don't know all of these blogs, but I know Ear Milk is definitely a solid blog that I've followed in the past. Now, all that said, another reason that I really even think it's valuable to do a video is because I actually know people who have gotten placements onto blogs by using Submit Hub, whether it's people that I've just met randomly and have told me or people that I've told to submit and they actually got on. So just know that if people like your music, these particular people, obviously, they will get you on if they can. Now, another big thing, though, that I think is cool that they've added is this rising artist thing. Come on, load on up. Load on up. You're taking too long. All right. I had to cut the video and make a quick edit because my internet was being a little bitch. But rising artists is a dope category that I love that they've added. Why? It's because they're ranking these artists, rising artists, and the ranking is primarily based on the number of approvals you received with those by really good 
bloggers, quote unquote, because the really good bloggers are given extra weight. That means their opinions matter more. So what that's going to do for you is if you're using this website for submissions, if your music's really good and more and more people start to like you and approve you, you're going to be ranked on this list. And sometimes I guarantee you people are going to start just going to this ranking list to find artists to see if they find somebody that's new and maybe even reach out to them to put on their blogs and give deeper relationships right a lot of this music is very um edm rock focused that is really start to rise on submit hub but they do have uh, their genres don't be afraid to make those submissions you might not start on this list but you know next thing you know you might rise up you could be that first one but i'm sure they're constantly expanding their blog base right now i believe they said they have 422 active blogs that are using the website so that's pretty much it it's a very simple website with the potential to be pretty powerful considering the fact that it's free and low effort now if they haven't yet i wouldn't be surprised if eventually they start adding some kind of pricing at some point in the future but for now make sure you get it going and there it is for those of you who are wondering and asking about my opinion on submit hub that's my perspective now if anybody has had experience with submit hub put that in the comments below whether it's good whether it's bad maybe you just submitted 50 songs and have never gotten posted through the site maybe you submitted a few songs and you had a submission and it did well for you or maybe it didn't do anything good bad ugly I want to know it all put it in the comments because that will help everybody else in this community and that's what this community is all about just to help you guys if y'all experience some bs at least help somebody else skip over and not deal with certain situations other than that if you like this video hit that like button if you like it you might as well share it and if you're not subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button